Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, So Lovely with Grace. I'm Grace, and today is another Friday Sews. Thank you, honey, for this delicious coffee. Well, today I want to talk about the top I'm wearing and my Valentine's Day dress that Fanny is rocking here on the dress form. So I'm going to show you a short clip of both of these pieces that I pre-recorded this week. So today I'm finally going to cut out my dress, the velvet rose dress here that I featured in December when I talked about my Vogue fabric swatch catalog. This is the Winter Holiday 2022 edition and I have the pattern, the Dana Marie Right to Bear Arms pattern, and I'm going to do the middle view, the dress. I'm going to add two inches when I cut it, just because I want to have extra length, just in case. It's, I don't want it to be too short. So I have it here on the table, ready to be cut up. I marked it. This is the front that's on the fold, and I'm going to cut that out. So as you can see, it's one front piece cut on the fold, and I did a size medium. It's all marked, ready to get cut. Then I have the back piece cut on the fold. That's all marked, ready to be cut. I'm going to cut the side panels. There's two, and these will be attached to the front and the back with princess seams. So here it is laid out. Well I finished my Valentine's Day dress and I wanted to make this new look 6217. I wanted to make view A right here, the little throw jacket. I have the velvet out and all my pieces, but guess what? I didn't buy enough velvet. Look, there's no way I can make this I'm so disappointed, but I will make it. I'll get more fabric, and it's going to be half after Valentine's Day, but I'll make it. Okay. So I didn't have enough of that black velvet fabric to make the little jacket. I'm so disappointed, but I have another pattern I've been itching to make. This Simplicity Knits 8016 with the lace from Hobby Lobby that I got. And look at this knit. It has all these flowers in it. It's like a, it's a stretchy, uh, blue shimmery knit fabric. So let's see how that goes. So I'm gonna cut this out and hopefully I'll have it done. So I did finish the top. And I'm gonna model the top and the dress. So I will be modeling this dress momentarily. But let me talk about this top first. This is Simplicity 8016. It has lace here. And let me tell you something. It doesn't say easy to sew, but this should be an easy to sew. This is one of the easiest patterns I've ever made. I made it in about four hours, cutting and sewing. It was so easy. I couldn't believe it. So let me tell you a little more about the features in this. So as you can see the views, the line drawings here, I did view D. So the other ones, it looks like they have like a, kind of like a handkerchief that hangs on the both sides. I wanted to do the even length of the hem. Now the hem was a little long, so I shortened it a couple of inches. And I think it's just right now. So I'm going to show you this this top. It has the lace here. It's finished off with black bias binding and I just like this fabric. And what I did was I did a blind hem to finish this. I don't know if you can see it, but I used the serger here to finish off the knit and then I did a blind hem with my blind hem foot. Which I use black thread. I should have used blue thread on this. But let me go to the mirror and show you the whole view of this top. This is such a cute pattern. 
I can see how instead of a lace you could do color blocking with various different fabrics and have a lot of fun with it. I'm definitely going to make this again. So what I did was this elegant knit fabric with this lace I think it's great for an evening out. Um, I can wear these pants that I have on and sandals. I don't know if you can see that, but it's just a lot of fun. Very nice, very easy. A beginner could do this. This should definitely be a simple to sew. Um, I don't know. Let's see if you could see in the mirror. Let's try to angle it here. Uh, if you could see the whole thing. Try to. But it's a. Uh, I just like this pattern. Like I said, I cut it out and it took like a couple hours just to sew, including serging and a blind stitch. So I hope you like that. Again, this is a great pattern. And I like the detail with the bias binding on the lace and the three-quarter length sleeves here. I just like that length. Very nice. And I want to talk a little bit more about the fabric. This fabric is so unique. I got it at a yard sale. This person was a sewer and they were selling it. It has a little shimmer to it. I don't know what I'm going to do with the remnants. What do you guys do with pieces like this? I don't know what to do, but I hate to toss it. It's beautiful. And of course, I got this lace at Hobby Lobby. They have the best stretch lace. I'm telling you, if you need lace, go to Hobby Lobby. It's so beautiful. And what I did was I trimmed off the border because I, I could add this detail to any dress or top. See the little scallop? I don't know if you could see that good. Little scallop edge. Thank you, Colin. Shout out to Colin for my gift card to Hobby Lobby. I love you, Colin. So yeah, the fabrics are great. So like I said, you don't have to use lace. You could use a solid, do some color blocking, and, I, and that's what I intend to do. So next, I want to show you my Valentine's Day dress, which was another simple make minus the collar. That was so hard. The instructions weren't clear. And I just did my own thing, but I think it worked out. So if you recall, I got this knit, or not knit, it's a uh, velvet, rose velvet. I got this at the Vogue Fabrics, and it has this stretch to it, and it's so beautiful. I have some left, and I'm going to get more because I'm going to make another top with it. This fabric was so easy to work with. Unbelievable. It's a great fabric. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the dress on so I can show you the look I had on Valentine's Day. The fit came out perfect. I was really happy and excited to wear it. Let me show you the whole thing. It just came out wonderful. Absolutely love the look of this fabric. And I don't know if you could see my shoes. But I wore these Lauren Conrad, they're called Snapdragon. I got them at Kohl's a few years ago. I've never worn them until now, actually. They've been in my closet. But this dress, I love it. Very happy with it. And it was a great time. So I wanted to show you the shoes I wore with this dress. Look at that. They're lace with a bow here that's black. But the pretty part is this lace. So I could wear these shoes with this dress and that top if I choose to with a skirt with that other top. I just thought if you're interested, they're called Snapdragon. They're Lauren Conrad and I got them at Kohl's a couple years ago, but I've seen them online still. So we had a great time. We went out to dinner. I'm going to insert some photos here. The dinner photo is a little grainy. I think the lighting in the restaurant was kind of dim. So I apologize about that quality. I didn't realize it until too late. But it was a good time. Now the fabric, this uh, rose fabric, I'm buying again. And I think I want to make this Simplicity 9385. I want to make 
this view be? Because I think it would look fabulous with this velvet fabric, this rose velvet with some black jeans or pants or a nice skirt. I just love the fabric. I want to make pants with it, tops with it, more dresses. I don't know. My whole wardrobe could be that rose fabric. So that's an idea. So what else did I do this week? Of course it's Valentine's Day week, so I made Valentine's. I want to show you a few things I made. I made these little wine coasters or coffee coasters that say love. I subscribed to Creative Machine Embroidery Magazine and they featured these in the magazine. So I downloaded the designs and stitched them out. So if you have an embroidery machine, this is a great subscription to have. Creative Machine Embroidery. It's a quarterly magazine and they have some really cute designs that you can download. A few of them are free for a limited time, like a month or six weeks, and then you have to pay for them if you don't have a subscription. So this was the project. It's called the Heart Coaster. And they give you all the steps here. They give you the file to download right here. Download here. And I made these for Valentine's Day. Lots of fun. You can give them for mugs or wine or anything or just decorate your house. The other project I made is this placemat, this heart placemat on the embroidery machine. All the fabric that you're seeing is Joanne Fabrics too. Um, and this is the back. Now this one is from Secrets of Embroidery website. So I printed out the photo on their webpage and these are all the instructions here, step by step for the placemat. And uh, it's called Secrets of Embroidery. It's a great website if you have an embroidery machine. They have a lot of projects. And do you know how much this project costs? One dollar. That's the thing. The projects on there are very, very cheap. So yeah, that was a great project. I also, from Pickle Pie, Pickle Pie is a great machine embroidery company. I made these little candy hearts so you could put candy in them. You can put a gift card in them. You can put money in them, a toy, a charm, anything. They're adorable. Now I gave them away so I don't have them here. I guess I should make one for my sewing room to keep, but I'll insert some photos here. I had a great uh, Valentine's Day, and I hope you guys did too. So that's what I did this week, and now next week I'm hoping to open up that bias tape maker and see if it works and see if it's worth it and make some other things. So I hope you enjoyed this Friday Sews. I hope you have a great week, and I hope you do some sewing.